Hello, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing what a mech is, how you can use it, how you can beat it, and some examples. So, as ever, before I begin the video, um, if you like the video, put one of these bad boys on it. If you don't, one of them. Let me know down below what you think. Cool in the gang. So, where do we begin? A mech. So, obviously, as I mentioned in the intro, we're talking about mech. So, a mech, believe it or not, is a marine equivalent. M-E-Q, marine equivalent. So, what does it mean? So, roughly, what it means is that the model or the... Yeah, the model. That's the word I'm using. The model. Um, as a weapon skill 3 plus, ballistic skill 3 plus, strength and toughness 4, wounds of 1 attack, 1 leadership, 7, maybe 8, um, and a save of 3 plus. So the main the main ingredients that are, that matter here is 3 up save, toughness 4, um, that's pretty much it. Um, but that's, that's pretty much what a mech is. A marine equivalent is effectively a 3 up save, toughness 4. So, if you've watched a previous video of mine, um, which is the Tactical Squad and how to win with them, Space Marines, I'm not sensible enough to put any thingies up there like Pachow or anything like that. Um, so, basically, watch it, it's cool. Um, yes, um, basically, Space Marines. So, Space Marines are the benchmark of which most models are either basically weighed against so points and all the rest of it. Um, obviously, we'll cover some of those other ones in other videos uh, future in, in the future. So, as we said, marine equivalent. I did say I would give you some examples. So, obviously, as ever, I'm always using my notes, so bear with me, please. An example would be a Sparse Marines, like normal. Um, Chaos Sparse Marines. You also have Necron Immortals in there. And kind of, so this is loosely based, you kind of have Necron Warriors. So they're only in there because they're T4, a 4 up save, but you also have that reanimation malarkey. Um, I can't remember exactly the rules recently um, with the index, but I'm pretty sure someone will tell me. Someone special will say Necron. Sorry, Necrons. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting a bit carried away. Carried away, good gosh. So, what do you need to beat them? So, one step is to use strength eight. So I'm saying strength eight here. Um, this is simply because a toughness four model is wounded on a two plus with strength eight. Now you can use a strength five, six, or seven, um, and it'll wound on a three plus. So that means it'll only fails one third of the time. But if you're wounded on twos, you're only gonna fail one sixth of the time. So you're gonna wound most of the time, not always, but most of the time. Um, one sixth of the time you're gonna fail effectively because it's a dice. We've got six chances. Um, what else have we got? So, in my opinion, again, another way to beat them is to remove the other special part of them, which is their three up save. So you can do that by using something with an AP value of a two, three or a four, or minus three, four, whatever. Um, that way, um, they're their save, you can only, so okay, so we've already discussed that a D6 has six values on it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So with a space marine, they've got a three up save, which means anything three or higher, so a three, a four, five or a six is a pass. But if you get a one or a two, that's a fail. So with six, sorry, with six, you've got two chances to fail. If you knock that down a couple of times, they're more likely to fail one third, once, um, only pass it one third or one sixth time. You know what I'm getting at here. Um, you're basically reducing their survivability. Um, but, 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 so, another way, this is just, again, just opinion. So if you've got any other ideas, let me know. Um, it is uh, volume of dice. So volume of dice, what, as you can probably well guess, is if you throw enough dice at it, we are playing a chance game. Um, they can only make that three up save so many times. So they're gonna fail a three up save around about one third of the time. So every three wounds that get through, one of them, statistically speaking, 
you can actually cause a wound. Pretty much that, I, I don't know how more simply I can put that, basically. So if, you, if you're going to get a, sh a shed ton, be careful, I didn't swear there. Shed ton of dice. So let's say uh, squad of old boys with shooter boys, full 30 squad. That's a lot of shots, even with the big shooters as well, so it's about 63 shots. Um, you can probably add another two onto their 65 shots with a custom shooter at the front with a knob. Long story short, that's a lot of dice. And obviously you're going to fail a lot of hits. Principally, you could get a lot of wounds out of that and they're going to fail the saves because they're not invulnerable. So, how do you win with a marine equivalent? So the marine equivalent, let's be honest, mainly we're talking about space marines here, but anything similar. And again, my opinion, so, you know, taking up what I'm with. Yes, so, um, as I mentioned previously, watch my tactical video on the tactical squad. That will help you. However, this is kind of a, a duh um, kind of thing, but play sensibly. You can't just throw um, your models into, oh, reasonably, you can't just usually just throw them away. You have to play sensibly with them, even if that means holding them back or staying in cover when you could maybe run off and do something else. That's probably the way, because obviously you haven't got as many models to play with if you're facing a Horde army, which obviously we'll cover in a later video. Um, so another way, obviously, other than playing sensibly, is to bully. So bullying, um, which I've probably mentioned in previous videos too. However, I'll go over it again. And bullying basically means you are shooting, going um, in combat or shooting or both, going against units, not specifically full armies, but units that you can um, you can beat up or shoot to death or something like that. Someone who's less than you, so possibly a Gek or Guard equivalent, which we wasn't really going to go into until this point, but yeah, forget I said that. Anyway, a Gek or someone like that. Um, but that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it on the tactical video. So obviously we've covered over um, what a mech is. We've given some examples, how to beat them and how to win with them. If you want me to include anything else in any of the videos, let me know. There's going to be a lot of comments with a lot of questions. So, cool. Um, thanks for watching.